Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create an eyelid opening effect in DaVinci Resolve. Inside your edits window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert the video file that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, find the thumbnail of the media file that you have inserted into your project. Left click once on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of your thumbnail to view the clip attributes. This particular MP4 file that I have chosen for this tutorial lasts for 24 seconds and 17 frames, each second comprising of 30 stills. This frame rate can be used to determine the speed of the eyelid opening effect and will help determine where in the video the eyelid opening transition effects will occur. Left click on your media file thumbnail and drag this to your timeline. Right click anywhere on the edit and choose open in fusion page. Whilst the eyelid is opening on screen I wish for the video to have a blurred effect, reminiscent of the point of view of somebody waking up. Ensure that you are at frame 0 of your video. Inside your nodes panel Select Media in 1, hold Shift and press Space, and search for Ellipse. Select this tool and go to click on Add. With this new node selected, which should be connected to Media in 1 using the blue arrow which represents the effect mask, which shows part of your video file in a circle on the screen, go to Inspector, change Soft Edge to 0.02. This should create a blur around the edge of your ellipse shape. To have the eyelid stretch across the whole screen, change the width to 1.3. The sides of your ellipse shape should stretch beyond the edges of the frame which make up your video. You may wish to use a different width depending on the resolution of the video that you have chosen. And finally, to have the eyelids shut at the start of the video, change height to 0.0. .0. Since we want the height value to vary throughout the video, we need to set a keyframe to this variable. Left click in the diamond icon to the right of this particular value, so that this changes red. The soft edge and width values will remain consistent throughout the whole video, and so there is no need to set a keyframe to these particular variables. Going back to the nodes panel once more, select media in one, hold shift and press space, Go to search and select the blur tool. Go to add. With the blur one node selected, and with the video preview still at frame zero, under inspector for this particular blur node, set the blur size to 50. The blur effect will also vary as the video plays. The more open the eyelid is, the less of a blur effect will be applied. Select the keyframe diamond icon for this variable. With the Blur 1 node still selected, press Shift and Space once again. And this time go to Insert Brightness and Contrast. I wish for the video content to brighten up as the eyelid opens up more throughout the video. With this new Brightness and Contrast 1 node selected, and at frame 0, under Inspector for Brightness Contrast 1, I will set the Brightness level to minus 0.6. And since the brightness will be varying throughout the video, we need to set a keyframe to brightness also. Now to create the first phase of the eyelid opening animation. I wish for the eyelid to have opened slightly by the third second of this video. And for the blur and darkness effects to have been reduced. As previously mentioned, the frame rate for this media file is 30. And therefore the third second mark will be at frame number 90 which I can point to by modifying the value inside the box underneath the video preview in my Fusion window. Since the Brightness and Contrast 1 node is selected first of all, I will alter the value of the Brightness variable in the Inspector window first. To brighten the video content, I will change Brightness from minus 0.6 to minus 0.15. Note how a keyframe is automatically set for this variable. 
Go to the Blur 1 node now. To decrease the blur as the eyes open in the first 3 seconds, I will change blur size from 50 to 10. And finally for this third second mark, select the ellipse tool. To have the eyelid open very slightly, I will change height to 0.27. By the sixth second mark, I wish for the eyelid to have almost closed once again. Therefore, to advance forward by another 3 seconds, we need to go forward to frame 180. With the ellipse 1 node selected. To have the eyelid only slightly open, I will change height from 0.27 to 0.05. Going now to blur 1. To have the blur effect becoming more significant as the eye is almost closing. I will change the value for this variable under Inspector from 10 to 40. And finally for the 6 second mark I will go to Brightness and Contrast 1. And will change the brightness from 0.15 to 0.18. By the 7.5 second point in my video I wish for the whole eyelid effect to have opened. 7.5 seconds into this particular video clip is frame 225. With the brightness and contrast one node still selected, under Inspector, to have the default brightness settings restored to the video I will set brightness to 0.0. .0. This can be done by left clicking once on the small circular icon which appears underneath the brightness line. Go now to blow one and set blur size to 0.0. .0. Go to ellipse 1 and set the height to a maximum value of 2. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.